praise the Lord welcome name you guys wanted to see when we go out so we're going out anyway so I decided to bring my phone along in video it's not uh, it's not too common to see people coming and videoing around when they're going but you know I'm doing it for you guys sometimes people get a little bit upset they don't want to be videoed so I'm gonna be mindful of that people's privacy and my husband's getting in and we're going we're going to um, pick up some food for the animals uh, somebody has done some plantain chips and they saved the, uh, the skin and that's what we're going to get that and then we're going to go to the store and pick up some things you guys thought there wasn't a grocery store here but there is there's several of them so we'll pick one we'll go to it and we'll take you guys along the journey so we're on our way out the road's kind of bumpy um, our side is better this side not so much but we're working on um, something with the leaders around to um, remedy this situation sooner rather than later. So as you guys can see, this isn't far from the house. We have all kinds of things here. We have churches, we have pharmacies, we have um, cold store opening soon. We have uh, construction supplies. They're bringing bamboo. Um, there's another little shop. It, I think it has like, um, let's zoom in guys. That little shop right there, as you can see, it has soap and toys and household items, shoes. They sell a lot of used uh, stuff, shoes and stuff like that here. Mm-hmm. So my husband just had to pay for some nails for the chickens. Um, the chickens boxes that were getting redone. Brother Kwame is doing that. I'll bring that to you guys. But for right now, you guys wanted to see when we go out. So this is what it is. So there's also another um, clinic here. There's a place they sell fans and lights and all that kind of stuff. So each store and what it sells. This one sells its provisions is what it's called here. So you can get your little food stuff and everything. Um, down here, Crystal City Medical Center is another medical center. That's the one I went to last time um, when they give me the the typhoid medicine. See they have clothing. This one has different household items. Um, they got work going on here. I believe that's a hotel. I think somebody said it's a hotel. There's some more provisions. There's some fresh produce. They sell, um, I haven't seen this one. They might open at night. As we don't come out at night, really. They have tailors right here. This is all within 15 minutes, 10 minutes of the house. So there's plumbing supply shop right here. We have mechanic, but we have our mechanic, which is further up. This is a gas station. Be mindful, guys. This is per liter. So do the math. 12 uh cds 25 peswas per liter of gas this is the other medical center right here that we've been to we've all been to this one there's some activities going on free health screenings and stuff of that nature some more little shops there's another tailor there's another um paint and wheelbarrows and all that kind of stuff shop. Here's another 
shop that has food stuff and I'm gonna show you guys up here and then I'll come back to you again see the little little potholes those are kind of rough um, okay this road down this road is where our poultry mentor is so he's very close by he's right down this road here Mm -hmm. and then um, this place they make the COVIDs they have a block they call it block factory and it's just where they make the blocks and sell them there's our truck my husband's truck they're cleaning it he just pulled it up there so they're cleaning it. This is a place where we get our cars washed. This is our mechanic. Our mechanic here. So he's, he brought the truck here to get washed. What do you we're gonna check it out. We're gonna look over here. My Redeemer. It's a decor, catering, retail services. So you can rent stuff there. Um, they cater food. So there's a lot of little shops here. A lot of little shops. You got your MTN, Mobile Money, Tigo Cash. You can get your stuff there you can buy windows if you're building this sh this little kiosk just went up um, they're selling food and then they usually sell produce and stuff here we have some churches it's about three churches down that way got some building going on here I'm gonna show you this block factory up here where we got the geese from yep the man is a very very nice man very very nice man so you see in there there's the geese um, let me try to zoom guys excuse me for the bumps and the, the way the fence is and stuff trying to get it for you we'll get it when we come um up here there's an opening this lady boils corn and roasts corn and we usually get some from her not all the time but if we get corn that's where we're gonna get it from this is the block factory where they're making the blocks the geese are back in there under the tree and this part of the road that actually this part was very good when we first moved here and our part was horrible but my husband organized um the community and we were able to make some repairs on our road now the rainy season has started and it's um in need of some more work so we're in the process of um raising our funds up so we're able to do a little bit of work until we can um until they come in and pave this road that's the plan eventually the road will get paved we're not sure when but that's the plan so this is all part of the block factory here this um, little car here is called a Boboya. You see, they, it's a, like a motorcycle with a little truck bed on the back. There's a lot of building going on around here. So this place is really, really developing a lot, a lot. So as that happens, um, land values and house values go up. got a church over here there's a lot of churches around 
whichever flavor you like. Lots of churches. Especially up at this end. Down there where we are, not so much. This end is more developed. So when I first came in 2018, a lot of this was not here. Um, the very beginning of the road, they were starting to put up shops and stuff. You had a few little places here, but not like this. There's some clothing that looks like new clothing. Some places sell used clothing, some sell new. Taxi driver. Um, you'll see a lot of them waving. These are the same um, moto, they call them moto riders, the same moto riders that uh, take people up and down this road. So a lot of times people take a trocho, which is like a minivan, and you know, you take it kind of like you would a bus and make your way around the city. And then if you get dropped off at the end here, um, this place is called Container. So if you get dropped off at the end here, then the moto riders or the taxi drivers can take you. There's some more little shops over there. I, I guess this is a uh, somebody's home. I'm not sure if they got apartments there or what too. Yeah, they just did this stone on the side not that long ago. You have schools. Then a school is way back up that way, closer to our house. This is another school. Um, that's where Nana is today. He's in school. So this is what it is. So these were the only shops that were in this area back in 2018 when I came. It was just some little shops up here. And they've added more too, so it's really grown up a lot. So you guys wanted to see outside the house as we're going. Um, that's what is going on right now. We're going down. So we're getting to the end. There's the moto place and the taxis sit here. Um, the trotros, you see, okay, here's the green one coming. They're just looking, the people are waiting here. If you wanna go into Accra, you can grab a trotro. They're fairly cheap. Um, they're one of the cheapest forms of transportation that they have. But just be mindful, you're going to be um, kind of squished in there with everybody else, and you're going to be riding along. It's fine, but and, and it's the cheapest mode of transportation. Maybe the moto is a little cheaper, right? right. So the moto is the cheapest, then you have the trotro, then you have the taxi, Uber type vehicles. I'm not sure where the VIP bus and those things fit in, but I'm sure. Okay, if you wanted to go from here to Kumasi, maybe you would take a, a VIP bus. Um, this is what the road looks like. This is the toll booth, the old toll booth. Uh, and so on, and so on, toll booth. So they're gonna take this down. They're doing a lot of construction here. This whole road is going to be transformed. Right now it's a hot mess. They do come with water trucks and spray water on the dirt part to keep the dust down. But as you can see, as we're riding out, there's a lot, they got work going on there. There is a lot of um, places to buy things. Uh, we have two uh, gas stations right across from each other. Petro is what they call it here. Petro. Yeah. So you 
got to be careful when you ask for gas because they call it diesel gas. So you might get diesel. Although if it depends on your car. Sometimes the I don't know if the pump will fit in your gas tank. I don't know what kind they have here, but just be mindful of that. The road is a hot mess. You see the picture here, guys. You can pause the video and and get a good look at it. This is what they're doing. So that is the um, construction of the road. They got that uh, big red thing right there is where they bring the cement from the truck and they bring it up there and pour it. So they're pouring, you see how they're pouring the um, pillars to hold the road. So the road's actually gonna go up there. Petrol, $11.98 per liter. 11 CDs, 98 pesos per liter. Guys, when you Google the exchange rate, don't get fooled. Don't get fooled. It'll tell you 12 or something, but it's not 12 per dollar. It's more like 10. If you have a dollar, if you have a dollar and you want to get CDs, the rate is lower. If you have CDs and you want to get a dollar, the rate is higher. So what Google shows you is if you have CDs and you want to get a dollar, CDs is the currency they use here in Ghana. If you want to get a dollar with CDs, you're going to get, you're going to pay 12 point something CDs per dollar. If you have a dollar in your hand and you want to get CDs, you're only going to get about 10 CDs per dollar. So that's how it works. We didn't know that. We learned that. We're sharing it with you. There's more um, little shops here. But you see the road construction is kind of, um, you know, it's a mess right now. But that's what it is. This little, I've showed you guys this before, but some of you might be new where the town we're going to come up on first is going to be Amasamen. Amasamen. So, um, yeah. And they have little market. This is a little market. It's a little place, but they have a bigger market up further. So here you can buy a lot of different stuff. A lot of stuff you can buy here. And the reason that some of those uh, places are broken down like that is it is um, what happens is people sell land. And people buying land don't do their due diligence and search the land and make sure that there isn't any road going to come through that area. So that's what happened here. They did not do their due diligence. They put the their structure. Look at this, guys, like a Home Depot. We haven't been in there yet, but it, it's saying it's selling the same stuff. So I don't know if that's a, uh, if, if they just copied Home Depot or what. It says doors, plasterboards, kitchens, appliances, and more. Anyway, back to my story. Um, they, they didn't do their due diligence. Now, we took a lawyer. We did our due diligence. We made sure. He made sure the site plans and everything. Even if you're in a small area, kind of like our area, and it's not a major highway here, you still have to do your due diligence because if you build your house on a on a planned road your house can be broken down so you have to do your due diligence that's what the lawyer came in for this is called china mall we're not a big fan of it personally but it is a store they do have a lot of stuff there they're fairly cheap the stuff's from china most of it i'm sure so 
take it how you want it. Everything in the world is about from China now anyway. But I'm getting sidetracked. So anyway, the due diligence. You have to do your due diligence. Not just somebody said. The lawyer, what he did for us, he um, made sure there wasn't a proposed road coming through where the property is. Made sure that um, here you can only lease land. So he made sure that the owner who was leasing it to us for the 99 years we got, or 90 years, something like that, um, made sure the owner actually had the land for that many years. And the other thing he checked was to make sure there's no lien on the land. You don't want the owner to have a lien on the land and default on it and them to come after the land. So these are important things to check and that's what our lawyer did. So some of these places, I think most of this, isn't on the proposed road. But the ones that were broken down was on the proposed road. And they're just at a loss now. So some of them, the structure's been there for 10, 20 years. They come in and they have to break it down. See, half of that building was in the proposed. See, see how it is? The building. You can buy wiper blades right here. You see the street sellers, guys? Street sellers. Okay, that tells you there's traffic ahead. You can buy your energy drinks, your juice, water. It's all cold too, guys. They have cold stuff. You can buy a duster. Oh, there's the little cakes I like. You can buy cake. You can buy lots of things. There's some kind of pie with an egg in it. So that's what we got going on with the street sellers. Cake and everything. I like the three cities, five cities. Mommy, ten cities, never ten cities, We got um, tiger nuts. We got... Peanuts. You got it? Yeah. Sorry. Okay, we got some cake. I didn't know my husband was going to buy that for me. Thank you very much. I've been wanting this cake for a long time. You got shoot, shine, stuff. You got um, fried plantain. The very ripe one and then the regular one. There's the market we go to, guys. The, and we always park here, and the lady sitting at the corner, you can't see her right now. She always watches our car for us, and then we walk up over there. There's the, I think that's a policeman, yep. I'm not gonna video him too much. He's just hanging out. Um, okay, we got a car in the way here. Heavy machinery crossing. I mean, here in Ghana, guys, you make up the rules as you go. There's rules. Don't get me wrong. There are rules. But people just decide to do what they want. You make a two-lane highway into a five-lane highway real quick. And then when you have to break back down into two lanes, the traffic is, is a lot. Whoa. He's not watching. Hey. Chowichi. So this is the market. This is the driving, guys. <laughs> Gotta get a little used to it. You guys wanted to come outside with me. So I'm showing you. Unedited, guys. I don't edit my videos. I don't uh, clean them up. I show you the real deal. The only thing I might do is add short videos together to make it a whole video.
but as far as cutting parts out and all this kind of stuff that's not me I'm going to show you the whole deal so this is what it is traffic's heavy on that side I guess they'll get a snack on their way up snack and a drink the market has a lot of good stuff there guys a lot of good stuff in that market and it's very reasonable so you do not go to shop right to buy your produce do not go to Malcolm and buy your produce there's a VIP bus unless it's something you can't really find in the market or you happen to be at ShopRite and you're just not going another place and you just want to pick it up that's fine but um for the most part you want to get your produce you know over there it'll be local for the most part it's local they don't go importing it stuff like that so we're still riding on the road okay guys look at what part of the road uh construction part of what they're doing is they're building a walkway see that that's a overhead so that people can walk so they don't have to cross the road like they have to do now. Yep. So they got more stuff here, coconut. This is a taxi ramp. So if you were to get a, a trotro drop off over here, the taxi can pick you up and take you where you want to go. That's how it works. And people get around, it's kind of like New York City. New York City, Accra is the capital city here. New York City is a big city too. A lot of people don't have cars. A lot of people don't have cars. They don't have, um, you know, place to park and all that kind of stuff. So they just take public transportation. There's another example of building out in the proposed road area. So their stuff got broken down. And guys, I tell you what, people are hard workers. Because when they have to break the house down, you have people that come and literally break all the cement off of the iron rods and take the iron rods back and sell them. So whether it was um, somebody that got hired to come in and do it, or they just come and pick it up that's what happens so you got the chochos you got the little kia they call this a kia so it's a little truck that can transport things for you the chochos are a lot they go all different places all over so if you stand like at the end of container where we came to the main road first um if you stand there and wait, the chochos will come up. They'll be yelling out where they're going. So if you want to go to Achimoto, you just wait there. And if they come up, you ask them and they'll tell you if they're going there or not. Or they'll just say the names of where they're going. And then you pick it. You pick it up if they're going where you're going. And when you drop off at that place, you can either pick another chocho -cho to wherever else you're going or pick one coming back. You can pick up Uber, you can... I wouldn't suggest riding the motorcycle, the moto, you know, on the main roads of a crop, but hey, a lot of people do it. It's cheaper. I got a lot of water coming here. So that's like a little stream river thing where the water flows it flows all the time there they did good on the covid that they made for the road so that's what's taking a long time here on the road i mean they're coming along you can see the progress they're coming along but until they get to the point where they can pave this it's uh It's a little difficult. Alrighty then. I guess.
guess that was a uh, tire that blew. That was my guess, anyway. A blown tire or something. So there's another St. Moses Community Hospital and Health College right there. We're gonna come in and get gas. There's where we are. I'll show you guys the signs. There you go. Okay, I'll come back when we're done. Okay, we're back on the road. This is a little problem you have with the chochos. You know, they're trying to make money too, so they have to be in and out fast. But the chocho stops, they don't really, some of them, oh, here's where we are, guys. Um, some of them, they're not really, how would I say it? There's not really a proper place for them to be. So they end up taking up you know some of the road so here's the interchange that I guess that's what you call it see you guys didn't know gonna had this kind of road did you and it seems like they're gonna be doing something similar you see those pillars that's exactly what they have going on down there at our end I think these are seat covers guys can buy them too on the side of the road if you want buy whatever you want we're enjoying this cake my husband bought I got myself some green tea and here's what it looks like here you know people don't live in trees Some of those houses are huge mansions. They build big here, guys. Big. Our house is very small compared to most. They love building what they call story buildings here. So you have one, two, three, four floors. I love those. This is what's going on. This all is part of the road construction. So they're really working. You see the culvert? So that the water can flow. So that the water can flow. Um, under the road. There's an ambulance. Another pharmacy. So guys, this is something, if you're watching this video, you're going to get little tidbits here and there. So, um, what I wanted to tell you about the pharmacies here, you can get antibiotics. You can get pain medicine, um, antibiotics vitamins you get everything at the pharmacy so it could be good and it could be bad now a pharmacist is a pharmacist and it depends on what what they know if you know what you want um, you can get it without going to the doctor like in US if you want tramadol, which is kind of a, it's a, a step above like ibuprofen or Tylenol, but you have to get a prescription for it in the U.S. If you want amoxicillin, uh, we can go to ShopRite, more familiar with it. We were gonna 
I was trying to decide if I wanted to go to Malcolm, which I'll show you guys. I'll come back to what I was telling you. Um, Malcolm will be up this way. So you see there's the stores. You guys can slow the video down. Latex foam. I think they sell beds there. Um, the Malcolm will be coming. I, would, I really want to go to this Malcolm up here. But as I'm doing a video for you guys, I'm not as familiar with the Malcolm. So I'm going to need to focus. Um, focus on what I'm looking at. So it would be difficult for me to do a video. Okay, I think we got a little ways more before we reach it. Anyway, what I was saying is if you know you need amoxicillin or you need an antibiotic for something, you can get it at the pharmacy without going to the doctor first. Um, the pain reliever, you know, I'm sure that they, they don't have heavy narcotics or something there, so don't, you know, you won't go there and get that, but like the example I gave you, Tramadol, you can't get that at a pharmacy in the U.S. You have to go to the doctor and get a prescription before you can take it to the pharmacy and get it. So that's a little different here. Um, the pharmacies can also test you for malaria or typhoid or other common things. So it would be like if you went to CVS and they test you for flu or strep or whatever, you know, and then you can get the medication right there. So that's kind of what they do here. So, okay. We would have had to be on that road down there, guys, to go to the Malcolm. So what we're going to do now is we're going to our daughter's shop. She usually gets the plantain um, cover from the people who make the fried plantain. And she has to pay them a little bit, like 10 CDs or something, I think. And they give her all of it. And then she... She calls up and says she has it, and we go and get it for the animals. Okay, here's the Malcolm, guys. So we would have had to be on that side to go here. Maybe next time I go, I'll go, but we're running a little late on time. Nana gets out of school at uh, almost three, so we gotta try to be mindful of our time and I want to be able to take time at the Malcolm and you know see if I think it's better to go there than the shop right there is a Malcolm in Amasaman I think it's a little smaller of a Malcolm though because we've been there before I could probably venture and drive out there but I haven't I can drive, I drive down and go to the pharmacy, the clinic, whatever little shop I want to go and get something around the house, but I haven't ventured out by myself onto the main route. This is a delivery. So he's delivering stuff. This is how the roads are. So it's a city, you know, every inch of property is valuable. So the roads aren't huge. And then you have people that come, the sellers, this is any kind of, well, not any kind, but a lot of different phone cases and things of that nature. So this is just driving down. Um, Guys, if you come and you're interested in buying clothing, 
it's more Western style clothing. Um, but our daughter has a clothing shop. She has very, very nice stuff. Very, very nice stuff. So if, and it's all new, it's not used. She doesn't sell used things. Um, everything is new. So if you come and you're interested in that type of thing, we can uh, let you see what she's got going on there. So that's where she's at. She's at work right now. And at her shop, headed there. I want to show you this. See there's like produce on the corner and stuff. So that's what it is. These are all the little shops. So I'm going to come back to you guys in a little bit. And uh, yeah. I'll show you some more as we're out and about. You guys think I stay within the four walls all the time but I don't. I just don't video when I'm out and about. All right, I'll be back. So we're on our way. We're gonna go to ShopRite, the Lord willing. I don't know how long this video is gonna be because I'm really trying to show you guys outside here a little bit. This is in Accra. This area is called um, Akwitima. Okay, you heard it, guys. Akwitima. Akwitima. I'm trying. So they have some big, big houses here, too. So this is how it is. You you have to know the um, rules. Who has the right of way and everything? There are rules here, guys. Uh, don't don't think that there aren't. There's rules and laws, but you know it just depends on who decides to follow them. In this place. They put their trees and stuff. It's very nice. The way they have the bushes along the fence wall. We're trying to figure out what we're going to put along our outside fence wall because we have a lot of goats and things of that nature roaming around. So we don't want them to eat up the the bushes. We don't want to buy bushes and plant them and have them eat them up. This is where we're at. There's food everywhere, guys. There's food everywhere. You want to buy food, goodies, fattening food, street food. You want to buy healthy food, produce, there's all that kind of stuff. There's all that kind of stuff. So they're waiting for the light. Here's the light here. The bank over there, Republic Bank. Um, there's Neil Plan. So, if you guys follow along our journey, um, the man that we bought Grace and Wisdom from has his dogs at the back of this Neil Plan. His brother, I believe it was, his brother works here at Neil Plan. Not really sure what they do here, 
but his brother works here and then they rented out there's some some kennels in the back so I don't it probably wasn't a kennel to begin with but they turned it into kennels and then um, they rented out in the back there so they also have a grassy place that's fenced in that the dogs can play in they have a you know a nice setup over there so that is where we bought our dogs right there nail plant there's a police station right there where they stay they go and get shelter and here is Achimoto Mall so we'll be at the mall shortly so eventually the road in front of our house will be even better than this one because it'll be new this one's got some little bumps and stuff but it's a very good road these roads are good right here sorry guys i thought we weren't paying attention and uh missed them all so here you go you can pause the video if you want to see what all those um places said this is called Achimoto Mall that we're going to so this area right up here is Achimoto it's quite a big area quite a big little uh, municipality somebody almost hit us that's typical though that's why I don't want to drive in this area my husband's a very good driver 20 almost 23 years of delivering newspapers, dodging deer and skunk and all that kind of stuff. Having to be watchful. So they have a bookshop over there. I haven't been there. But there are bookshops around. Okay, here's the entrance to the mall. Um, if you have children and you're looking for something to do, the mall now has a, a little place where the kids can go and play. Like bounce house and all that kind of stuff is in there. They play children's music and all those things. So here is the mall. This is the mall. It's not huge, huge. There's a shop right I'm familiar with ShopRite in upstate New York. We had ShopRite there. I believe it's Lebanese owned. So this is what it looks like. And there's the mall sign. We'll just find a place to park. So that's where we're at. That's the shop right we're going to. And I'll do my best to video as much as I can. I'll give you guys a power tip if you come here. Do not go to Barce Barcelos and get pizza unless you're a fan of the school frozen pizzas or those little cheap frozen pizzas you get at Walmart and pop in a microwave or the oven you don't want to go there there's another bank okay they have a lot of these around too guys and it seems like I saw this in US chicken in and pizza in let me know in the comments if they have that in US I see a lot of it here now they're popping up everywhere chicken in and pizza in let me show you the sign yep so they have a lot of that here all right I'm gonna we're gonna finish coming around here and trying to get a parking spot. And go into the store. I'll try to see what I can video for you guys. I might have to take the sound out. 
Well, they didn't want me to film in ShopRite, and it was very hard, because every time I turned around, there was somebody there, so, and also the, um, the music. So, you guys wouldn't get the video for a long time, because I have to figure out how to edit the music out. So, we're just gonna show you. We bought a lot of stuff. So we're gonna show you and show you the prices. When we get to the house, I'll lay it all out and I'll do a video and show you guys. So this is what, it's kind of like an open mall. I know where we were in North Carolina, we had a friendly shopping center that was kind of an open mall type concept. And this kind of what this is, similar, it's similar. I have everything you want here. Roulette and slots. A photo store, you can get your pictures done, I'm guessing. Um, Hair Village, I showed you that already. We're coming back out the same place. So if you're a person who likes to go out to eat, we're not so much. We don't so much go out and do that. So we haven't tried these places before, but a lot of people are eating there. So it's probably good. You guys just have to try it for yourself. There's, um, you can get your portrait. So that's what it is. This one is a game place. If you like to play games, it looks like it has video, yeah, video games. You can play video games. So if you don't have a video game, you wanna come here and hang out and play it, you can do that. And uh, Sweet Roses looks like a Chinese restaurant, I guess. Yep, it's a Chinese restaurant. If you want to try your Chinese food over here. So that's what we got going on. We're going to the car. There's KFC. You guys like KFC? There's your KFC restaurant right there. Kentucky Fried Chicken. So you can get your chicken. Yep. Well, that's what it is. We're leaving the mall. We didn't go anywhere else. Just shop right. So next time, I mean, if I knew that, I would. Well, our time was short anyway today. When we have a little more time, I'll go to Malcolm. And when I get the groceries, I'll show you guys um, how much things cost there. Here's some of the road construction. We're on our way back home. See how dusty it gets? So they do come through with uh, trucks that spray water down to keep it from getting so dusty. So here's what it looks like out here. Um, yep, this is a very nice place up here. Rent is expensive. Very, very expensive. So guys, the rent at the yellow house, right? That rent, everybody is telling us it's very, very good. There's one apartment left, two bedroom, two bath. If anybody's interested, um, you rent it for a year and pay a one month security. You can contact us for the, um, the pricing because I don't know when you're going to be watching this video but and if it'll be available still or not but guys even if you're planning on coming for a couple weeks or a month or something like that it's still going to be cheaper if you're planning on coming back and forth that's ideal you have a place to stay it's just outside of the city 
you can easily get access into Accra and um, wherever you wanted to go. But you can also go the other way and venture out into the eastern region or wherever you want to go. Wherever you want to go. So just let us know. There's one apartment available. Somebody already rented um, one from there that we know. You know, we've been inside. It's very, very nice. It's comfortable. Um, you have to supply the appliances, but that's not a big deal. If you guys, if you guys find out the price, you'll see that it's very reasonable very very reasonable so there's a little roadside cellar they got a lot of different stuff there bread fresh bread <clears throat> yep so this is on the way back to our house guys shop right was just difficult it was difficult the music um they really didn't want you video in there. They said you can't video, you can take pictures or whatever, that's fine. But the music, and I'm not there edit with my editing yet. So if I take time to edit, I'd prefer to take time and learn to edit and edit the farm videos. My husband's been sending me a lot of farm videos. So here's another example, guys, this hotel is gonna be um, taken down I guess yep. I don't know if the whole thing I guess not I guess to that wall so here's where other obstacles we have people just walk right in front I guess they gotta cross somehow it's a Ghana bus I don't know what that's called but big old bus that's probably more Kumasi or something going you know oh this is a, a big giant trotro okay but the VIP is more for long distance okay this is the road this is kind of you know it, it's a little bit difficult right now to get in and out because of the road but when it's done it's gonna be really really good it's gonna be a big time saver it's gonna be a nice smooth road and I think they're gonna uh, make it so it's okay and then the outer lane will be so you have access to anything on the side of the road will be the outer lane so that will really um, it will really um, make it less congested so you see how far they're gonna put the road so like that building that's why that's broke down I think they had to break them down so the road can be over there so that'll be an outer lane trotros and everything can go down that lane instead of being on here and then it'll come back here and here's the walkway they made and that way you know if you had a wheelchair or you don't want to climb steps you can just go up that way and walk around so they're still working on it over there <clears throat> They have the um, people that work for the road construction company helps people cross the road safely. So that's what that lady was doing. And it's nice to see they hire some women too. That's nice. You got bread sellers here. So when there's traffic, guys, I mean, you can shop. So this is what it's like riding. You can see over there. 
So for right now with the construction, the tree's kind of dusty and stuff because all the road construction going on, but that, that won't be like that eventually. <clears throat> Okay, so you can get a mop. You guys need a mop? I mean, mop? You can get anything you want. Sugar cane, or is that sugar cane? No, oh, chewing no, stick. Chewing stick. Chewing stick. There's the cake my husband bought me. Well, we each got one. <clears throat> and they sell dusters. The one behind me had a pillow. You know, in case you're in traffic and you need a nap, I guess you can pick up a pillow, get you a quick nap. Apples, bread, some kind of pie, with the egg in it, water. I mean, the choices are endless. I tell you what, these, um, street sellers here they really hustle for their money but i think they make a lot of money but they really really hustle and it's dangerous out here it's dangerous because the motor motos go very fast in between the lanes here and on the side so if they're not they have to be very very vigilant and very alert and you see how they carry it on their head I guess here they grow up carrying stuff on their head, so they're used to it. They're not used to holding it like we do. But me, if I try to carry something on my head like that, I think it would just fall. <clears throat> but they're very, um, very talented, very hardworking. It's not easy to stand out here like that and sell. And they, I mean, they can be out here all day. Like I said, I think I've heard that they really make good money, but it's really, really risky. The cars and mostly the motos, they go through there, speeding through there and stuff sometimes. And um, other times, you see how the traffic's going? So now, if I'm going to call over there to that lady and tell her I want something to drink, she's going to run over here. She's going to be going alongside the car until we can... That's the same thing that the cake seller did when my husband bought the cakes. Because we were going... And she have to run alongside the car because we can't sit there. We got to keep going with the traffic. And that's what they do. They'll run alongside the car and, ha you know, help you. So you buy the stuff that you want. It's a really, really hard job. I have, I have a lot of respect for them. They're out here working. You see, she's trying to cross. They're out here working. Um, there's the market over there another market and you see there's a they made the outer lane there because this is a big they got a lot of stuff over there at that market and then the Trocho Kumasi Express see they they put it up there where the Trocho is going There's a lot going on in this area. All of a crowd's not like this, but the road construction has really kind of um, made it more congested here. But, I mean, it's a small price to pay for the future, how the road's going to be.
So I have nice, nice houses here. This might be apartments or something over there. People who fix the tires. This truck is struggling. stuff here in Amasaban they have um, different they have a Malcolm there it's a little bit smaller but they do have a Malcolm there so there's the cement they're um, pouring the the wall I think you see how the wall is gonna be I guess that that's going to be the, um, maybe the outer lane over there. I don't know how this area is really, really going to end up, but that's what they've been doing. They've been building this wall. So on the other side too, they have the, the iron rods and stuff and they're pouring the wall. They use like a metal, um, I guess you can't see. Oh, you can see on the side. They use like a metal form. Instead of using wood, they just have the, those forms. So they do each section. So they have all the, um, see they're attaching all the, <laughs> he saw me videoing them. <laughs> they're attaching all they did all the iron rods now they're attaching the forms and then they're going to be pouring the cement in there and then they'll remove the forms so it's reinforced wall very very nice i guess that's going to be the gutter over there where the water is going to flow that's what i'm guessing that's what it looks like there's the home depot Same colors and everything. They also have this thing called uh, Pinkberry. Pinkberry. I've seen it in the U.S. It's a, it's a little like ice cream, yo frozen yogurt kind of shop thing. That's another thing I've seen here. And Burger King. And Shell gas station. You guys remember Shell? I want to think I saw a 7-Eleven one time. Don't hold me to that. I, I think I saw a 7-Eleven. And Pizza Hut is here. So they have a lot of stuff. Um, more and more people are bringing their ideas and bringing their businesses. This is what you have right here. I don't know if it's broke down, accident, what? I guess it's broke down. So they're going on the outer lane over there. You see they're building um, something over there. I don't know what it is. A gutter. Okay, they might be building the gutter. So that's the outer lane. Okay, a gutter for the outer lane. So when the water flows heavy, it has somewhere to go. This is one of their construction trucks. It seems like they're doing a really good job though, guys, from what I see. I don't I'm not an expert in road construction by any means. But um, see the ladies running down there because somebody wants a water. Now, if we were moving, she would have to really hustle. It's not easy. Um, 
anyway it seems like they're doing a really good job you see how they're putting all the iron rods in there and forming the wall and everything it's not like they're just you know slapping something together the way that we saw them doing the walkway looked very very um good the coverts they're putting in so it looks like they're doing a great job when we get up closer i'll i'll let the video i'll video the um pictures they have on the side wall there again so you can kind of see what it's going to look like when it's finished see how the motors are coming through in between the cars right there look he can't fit now but sometimes they try to fit anyway see um i would not suggest you guys trying that don't try this at home guys i wouldn't suggest you riding on those like that but hey to each his own People do it all the time. It is a very bumpy ride too when you're riding on the motor. Very, very bumpy. Worse than the car. I guess you guys could figure that out. But we're still in the traffic. So here's a duster if you want to get out and wipe your car down. I don't know. They use it for a lot of stuff. It's mostly for cleaning, I think. Those. So that's what's going on. Okay, guys. It looks like we got the water truck up there. That's the water truck. You see? Oh, let me get my finger there. That truck. As the water truck so if you see over here they're putting some water down <clears throat> she's selling some lint rollers and things of that nature got the market over there cabbage carrots yam bread there's a lot more stuff it's just what I'm seeing right out in the front bananas apples pineapples shoes and that side has a lot there's police People can ride on the back of the truck here, guys. I always think it's funny how they put the slow down sign right where all the potholes are and stuff. You have no no choice but to slow down. <laughs> That's just me. There's some kind of egg pie. See the motor going right in the middle there? And the sellers are there in between the cars too so she has the uh, shoe cleaning and car air freshener down there's a lot of plastic stuff you can buy so the outer lane will give you access to that look at this is what the guy you just go right through there You can choose which way you want to go on the road too. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll get back with you when we get a little closer. So here's the water truck, guys. 
across there. You see it? So it's just putting water down to keep the dust down. It also makes it muddy, but it keeps the dust down. So these are tiger nuts. They have um, black and then the tan kinds. Selling something when the kids get out here selling. That's Agbelika Clue. What is it? Agbelika Clue. It's, it's Agbelika Clue. They made it with cassava. Oh, that's the one yeah. your sister bought. Right. Uh huh. See, she has to walk along with the car because the car has to still go. And she too needs a sale. And here comes the motos. So it's not easy, guys. Okay, here. You see the, um, I'm gonna try and let you guys, oh, where did I go? There we go, there we go. That's what it's gonna look like at the end. At least that's their picture, their plan. take another look at it right here you guys can stop the video and check it out so that's their plan for it that's what I was saying I would show you guys you guys need a slingshot you got a slingshot here I mean you know I have a lot of stuff on the side of the road here. Yeah, I think this is all the same picture. So it seems like, you see the pillars, guys? And that's what I was showing you on that other um, bridge back there. So it seems like the road is going to go way up there. Well, you see how this is over here? Now they're all coming from that lane coming into here. So it's a lot of work. It might take a while them to uh, complete it. It's going to be really nice when it's done. Oh yeah, you guys see how it is. Look at the pillars under the road. So there'll be that's right, a road and a roundabout underneath and then a road on the top. And this is the road now. giving you guys a real look okay there's some provisions up there some kids are out of school buying themselves a snack and some kebabs taking the bread right out of the oven over there packing it up and bring it right here to the road to sell. This is another two gas stations. Remember guys, $11.99 per liter. Per liter. Eleven CDs, ninety-nine pesos per liter. It takes, I think, 3.6 liters to make a gallon. I forget when I did the math. Um, it was a little bit cheaper than that. I think I did 11.6. And when I did the math, it came out to be $4.10 per gallon for gas. 
that's what uh, it worked out to. So gas is not cheap over here. It's not cheap. So we're back at the barrier. So we're getting close to the house. got going on there. There's the police escorting or going behind the truck. See how they're doing the wall guys. So I don't know if I don't know what the wall particularly is for. Maybe just to keep people from crossing. That's how they're doing it. Here's where we're turning. So this is where we're turning. This is what the road looks like here. It's actually a lot. See, we have a lot of stuff for sale here. We got yam. We got a lot of stuff up through this whole road for sale. Coconut was back there. Um, you have some international schools that have school buses that come. They have um, fried yam and fish and all that good stuff. They do have produce here, but we've learned. One of the moto guys <laughs> trying to wave to us and I'm busy doing video. And my husband's trying to watch for the bumps. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, they have a lot of stuff for sale here. The coconut is coming. They have a lot of um, street food. If we run into a jam, we can come up here and buy the feed, which is what we used to do. But now it's more beneficial to go to that place, the agro place, and just buy it in bulk. So that's what we do. My husband goes and buys about last time he bought 10 bags so when we first moved here this part of the road was the best part and our part was horrible I already told you guys that now this part is horrible and our part is the best part and that's how it goes but we're working on it like I told you guys my husband came together um, or went around and started talking to the people of the community when he was out riding his bike and you know gathered some of the people together and then got himself a team and then from there started building the community and the association so we came together and fixed our part of the road but rainy season is here and until you know you do something a little more permanent you're gonna have to keep maintaining the road so that's what we're working on on our side of it um, this part here is still another association uh, is over this part and I'm seeing now there's a books and stationery store. That is the sample of this house. The gray house? Mm -hmm. On the left? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the assembly lady's house down there. So she doesn't live far from us. She's very, very nice, guys. She came, uh, went in to meet us. You know, we didn't go to her or anything for our group. We just. My husband just started the association with some other um, people in the community and she heard about it 
and saw what we did when we came together and put our money together and made our road better for ourselves and she came by and gave us some street lights she gave us two street lights and we put them up which is another thing we were doing we were also um also trying to put street lights on our area and then also some people can't dig a borehole or you know didn't have the means to dig a borehole or maybe their area wasn't good for a borehole i don't know what it is there's a taxi driver we know very well um so some would like the public water but you have to pay for it you have to pay to get the public water just like the light poles you know somebody had to come in and pay for the light poles somebody had to come in and pay for the light poles to be to bring the electricity here so by the time we got to that point to need our electricity we just had to buy our one pole right we had to buy our one pole and then later we added another pole so we could have a light down there for the animals yep for our other plot for the animals so you guys saw a little bit of this part i'm just taking you back to the house taking you back to the house guys so we probably won't ride together the whole way but i just want to show you what the road is like um i want to show you the things they have here basically i mean you can get pretty much i would say everything you need here you know there's certain things that are more expensive here than at ShopRite. So some of the things we bought at ShopRite, we know the prices here. So we know that it was cheaper to buy it there. Now, if we buy it there, we're not going to buy one. Um, like we buy small cans of milk, evaporated milk. My husband likes that um, in his Milo. So we buy those. And here you would pay eight CDs for a can. There, I think we paid, I'll, I'll show you in the video, but five CDs and some Peswas each. So, you know, it pays and those things aren't gonna go bad. So those are the types of things. Those are the types of things that we um, buy at ShopRite. But I'm gonna give you guys a whole grocery haul I'll write the prices on there and then show you guys how much everything cost and what we bought. Okay, we're going to stop here. My husband's got to talk to them. So we'll get back with you. So guys, down there is where our um, poultry mentor is. See, they got coconut, coconut up there. <laughs> This place, I haven't seen people in there, but it says you can go and watch DSTV in there. That one's a little bit rough. So we're not at our uh, road part yet. This is still the front part. And as you guys can see, it really needs some work. But the associations are working together. Um, they're working together with the assembly lady and also the MC of the area, which would be kind of like maybe a governor? No, like uh, council, the council city council. Mendo uh, the assembly money. lady would be like the city council? Uh, like less than that, that the MC. The MC would be like the city councilor. Right. Okay. So the MC would be like the city councilor and then the assembly lady would be under him. 
So um, there's five associations in this little area. Um, we're the newest one, but I think so far we've done quite a bit. Um, there's five associations and we're all working together. Um, the executives of each association have been meeting with the MC. They met with the assembly lady. They'll meet with her again. And she's really guiding and helping. So um, that's really, really good. She's really guiding and helping so that we can get the road fixed. Like this whole road will be paved. And then we'll be working on some of the little side roads to get them paved. So that's our, our hope. That's our goal. Eventually, we'll see how things go. I believe this is a hotel here. And they put this little um, outside space. They're just starting to build that now. So it's very, very nice. So this place has a lot of fruits and vegetables. She has a lot of stuff in her store. So everybody and the things they sell. There's a welder. There's lots of welders around here. Um, we have a particular one that we use all the time. And you have a lot of building materials here. So the good thing about that, um, we use this place a lot and we use over here a lot. The good thing about that is you're not paying. You can uh, hire this Aboboya, the little motor, the tricycle thing. You can hire that to carry your building materials or whatever to your building site. And it's not much. Um, here is another, this is um, another provision shop and some of Nana's classmates so this is what it looks like there's uh, our association United Lane 4 Association so as we turn right here then you'll see this is the um this is where it begins, the part of the road that we're taking care of. Somebody bought these chips of stone and put them there. So I don't know, that wasn't us. We had put some here and what we did was had the grader come through and level it and make it smooth. But the rain, when it rains really, really hard, that's the problem. It makes these little um, ruts and stuff. So this place was very, very good. You see these stones? This is some of the stones we had bought um, and put here. And then they dug a little gutter on the side for the water to run. But it needs a lot more. That was... Um, the finances we had, we did what we could do with um, what we were able to raise at that time. So that's what we did. On this road, um, there's one part of it that was not passable during certain times when it rained hard. They would have to wait for hours just to be able to pass that spot. Guys, if you come here, this is the Kinky Cafe. Yep, you want to buy some kinky and pepper from over there. Maybe some fish to go with it. Fried or fried fish. It's really, really good. This is the place that they set up the wache. Uh-huh. This is the wache place. So in the mornings, they sell wache. They sell cocoa. And that's where um, that's where my husband buys the wache from. When... We have it, we fry some egg and have it with the watch. It's really, really good. So part of, part of the uh, thing that would happen if we're able to 
get the project going would be not only with this road, the government will eventually come and do this road anyway, but also that would, um, if we partner together, then we'll be able to get some of these little side roads done too. So I don't know how many, but that would be really, really nice if we could, um, see that was pretty deep. That puddle was pretty deep. So, oh, and they sell local honey right here, guys. Local, real honey. It's really, really good. So, like, some of these side roads right here would be done. So, this side road, there's, um, that would be done. And then, you know, this whole is a main road. And you see some of the street light. So, I think think um they put one here or is it two did did the association put these up they light. Mm -hmm. yes. okay so we got one going each way to light up this area at night so you know street lights don't just happen now we already had some lighting up outside of our gate so that helped that's one less we got to put up. But that was our goal, um, is to put street lights up all along and light the place up. So that when people are coming in the, in the night, you know, it's a little bit lit up. So this is another little stand. The lady comes out and she'll put all the things she's selling up in that little kiosk. They call it a kiosk. So see, some of these side roads would get done. This is a church. They've been really working on this one. They didn't have the windows and doors and stuff like that. They didn't have that front painted. And now look, they're putting the poles up. So I think they're gonna put like a canopy or something there. That would be really nice. There was a plot of land down here for sale, but it went quick. So see, like this side road would get done. This, um, somebody had bought the land and they came and put all of this stuff here. So they'll have to push it over. But if they decide to come and do the road and they haven't pushed this over into their land, that'll be it, they'll lose it. So there's a moto. Sometimes they stop here and uh, wash their bike. <laughs> So this place was not passable before. They call it the River Jordan. So um, now it's not great, but at least you can pass. You don't have to wait three or four hours. I remember when our first container was coming, um, he, couldn't, he couldn't pass there. He had to wait, I think about two hours, right? Two hours before he could come by. Guys, that's a frozen yogurt and bofro or meat pie, whatever you want. So that's what it is. That's what's going on. So you guys have ridden along with us. I'm going to um, take a minute. We're going to take our things inside and I'll situate everything so I can show you guys what we got at ShopRite. I apologize for not being able to get that video to you guys, but um, you know, next time I'll be a little more careful and then hopefully I'll try to get one anyway. I think it won't, it won't be that hard to take the background music out and then I'd have to record something and put it over top, but I'm not there yet, guys. I'm not there. So that's what's going on i'll get back with you guys once i have my groceries all labeled and put out on the counter so you can see what we got well we're back home so we're back home now from our trip to the grocery store um, when you guys see this video you'll be seeing it after you see my grocery haul video 
so I just wanted to still share the footage with you on the way to the store and back so you guys can kind of see what the roads are like and everything like that so I hope you enjoyed the video all right till next time God bless you